Meta, X and Telegram fail to stop Russian propaganda according to a recent EU report. Why is that? This is what you need to know about your feed and Russian propaganda. In 2022, more and more people started following social media accounts connected to Putin or the Russian government. That's the finding of a recent study by the EU Commission. But Musk's X, formerly known as Twitter, was by far not the only platform allowing Russian propaganda to spread. Pro-Russian accounts don't just reach the masses on Insta and Facebook, they also massively increase their followers on Telegram, TikTok and YouTube. So why is big tech letting this happen? Earning money with controversy. Social media platforms want users to stay put and watch ads. This is how they earn their money. And controversial content that provokes reactions, whether negative or positive, is favored by the algorithm. That's because it keeps people on the platform. So Russian propaganda is naturally pushed by the algorithm and some platforms tolerate it because it creates more user engagement. Hang on, does that mean that people really like that content? Russian trolls. So-called troll farms employ click workers to push a political narrative. They post, comment, like and share. Those activities lead to algorithms pushing that content into our feeds. Twitter, now X, always drew a lot of criticism for enabling troll farms. By retweeting troll content, this information gets easily amplified, even though coordinated campaigns are against their rules. The recent EU report found that Russian disinformation increased since Musk took over. The findings suggest that disinformation campaigns have been driven in particular by the dismantling of Twitter's safety standards. For example, Twitter Blue helped trolls to create fake accounts and appear trustworthy. Free speech. Musk says he wants to safeguard free speech, meaning X did not limit Kremlin-run accounts. Musk's views and actions sparked a lot of controversy, especially at a time when former US President Donald Trump was banned from X, but Vladimir Putin was not. So where does all of this leave us users? EU changing social media for the better? The EU has passed a law which might lead to tech companies changing their game. Experts hope for a global effect. The Digital Services Act requires social media companies to assess the risk of posts that contain disinformation or are misleading and stop them. But beyond that, users should also be conscious of troll farms and the tendency of algorithms to favor polarizing content. Have you noticed more Russian-linked accounts in your feed? And how do you feel about Musk's definition of free speech?